Hi, I'm Ryan Cavanaugh, and I'm here with Banjo Studio today to talk to you about intervals. I get a lot of questions from banjo players asking why they have to learn their scales and why they should learn the different patterns in intervals. It sounds like your classic being forced to take piano lessons exercise. Well, what this stuff really does by practicing it is it prepares you for what's coming down the road with phrasing. Uh, re regardless of any genre you choose to go to, classical, blues, bluegrass fiddle tunes, jazz, whatever it might be, you're going to encounter intervals. They're all common in music. Intervals are part of the building blocks of music, chord progressions, and phrasing, and I'm here today to explain that. So, the most common thing you've heard is the intervals in thirds. What does thirds mean? It means you're going up to the third interval of the scale, but you're starting that, and you follow this pattern from the one, you skip the two and go to the three, you go to the two, you skip the three, and you go to the four, and so on and so forth, up the scale and its modes. 